It comes as no surprise that Cristiano Ronaldo has hit the ground running in Italy for Juventus. The five-time Ballon d'Or winner has managed to grab 10 goals in 17 games for Juve since signing for the club and already looks well worth the hefty £100 million price tag. The 33-year-old had fallen out of favour with Real Madrid after Los Galacticos decided to make a profit on the Portuguese forward before age diminished his value. However this may have never happened as before this transfer occurred, there was another Italian side who could have snatched Ronaldo from the clutches of the Serie A champions. AC Milan, who have somewhat fallen by the wayside in recent years, were in talks with the former Manchester United player before complications allowed the deal to fall through. Exporting director of AC Milan Massimo Lionola I believe who was part of the side that signed names such as Ricardo Rodriguez, Andre Silva and Leonardo Bonuxi told Sport Italia that talks between the two parties were advanced. It was an operation that came to mind and we spoke with Jorge Mendes. We knew he could have problems with Real Madrid. We also talked about the contract and we did everything. Muribali has revealed that the Italian side were in prime position until issues with the club's owner began to develop. Then the Chinese owner blocked the agreement because it was not sustainable. With the current owners Cristiano Ronaldo would have been a Rosnero player. Juventus signed Ronaldo for 105 million euros making him the most expensive player ever in Italian football. It seems that due to Ronaldo's undeniable success and the whopping 520,000 shirts sold within 24 hours of his transfer, mean that Milan's idea of a Ronaldo transfer not being sustainable has been truly squashed. Did AC Milan miss a trick in failing to buy Ronaldo? Have your say in the comments section below.